Hey guys, my name is Bridget and today I'm going to be talking about Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Maas. So, my rating for this book, starting with characters, I gave it a 1 out of 1 star for character development because the character development in this book was fantastic. They changed so much and they learned so much over so much time, just like in the previous two books. So obviously I had to give it a 20 out of 20 for that and a 1 star. For the plot, there were so many twists and turns within the plot that kept me enthralled in this book the entire time and I couldn't keep waiting to pick this back up. So obviously it got a 20 out of 20 for plot and one star. Setting, 20 out of 20 because I could clearly picture wherever Selena was, especially that creepy dungeon part. So obviously that got a one out of one star. The writing was flawless as Sarah J Maas always has written for the previous two books that I read. And it just, it flows so beautifully. Not funny. One star. My enjoyment for reading this book was fantastic and amazing. I couldn't keep waiting to read this book. I didn't want to put it down. I loved reading every second of this book and I cannot wait to pick up Air of Fire. So in total, I got a 5 out of 5 stars for me. So that is all I can say without spoiling you. If you have not picked up Crown of Glass, go do it. What are you waiting for? It is fantastic. So... Go pick it up, pick up Crown of Midnight 2 and The Assassin's Blade while you're at it because you should definitely read The Assassin's Blade before you pick up Crown of Midnight because then you know what they're talking about when you're reading Crown of Midnight because she mentions things that happen in The Assassin's Blade which I really liked that I knew what she was talking about. I'm going to go into a spoilery section so if you haven't read the book please leave now so I don't spoil you and I will see you when you have read the book. Bye! If you haven't read the book, throughout this book towards like the, the first half of this book, I really thought Selena and Shell were having a great relationship there, you know? She goes to his room for safety, look lovingly at each other during Rena's song, they dance together, they go on that date, and, and then Shell keeps the telling that Nehemia won't be safe, like she has a threat to her safety, and she, he doesn't tell Selena because he doesn't want to worry her, like it's not going to be that big of a deal. No. Just tell Selena, tell Selena everything, and then their relationship wouldn't be ruined. You see, communication problems are everything in books. And I just wanted to say that the assassins and the Cortesians really did have a similar upbringing, during, which you learned during this book when you saw her and Archer, they both had similar upbringings, and I thought that was sort of interesting just to see that they have similar lives even though they are completely different. I think I mentioned that in my Assassin's Blade book talk too. And on page 32 even, Dorian and Selena were adorable together. Just, let's talk about that. They're so cute. Their banter was just uh, so adorable. I just can't. Now towards the end, Selena being the Queen of Terrasin, I sort of saw that one coming because I accidentally spoiled myself, sort of, because I was looking at the Queen of Shadows cover and there was this whole interview thing with Sarah J Maas and I wasn't really looking at it, but I kept seeing Aelin pop up and I was like, what the heck? Why are they talking about Aelin? If Selena is the main person in the book. And I was like, like they kept talking about Aelin and she said the name change is like complete or whatever. Or something like that. I don't know. Something like they kept repeating it and I was like, what? What? Yeah, yeah. Selena, Selena has to be Aelin then. Like she has to be the queen, you know? She has to be that lost princess. I was, like, <laughs> I was, I was so pissed off at myself for looking at that. Because I just, I can't. I was like, oh, oh, maybe I can think that it didn't happen. And then it did. Like, I'm trying to convince myself, maybe that's another name. Maybe I'm thinking these two completely different names. And I just happen to think that they're the same. Yeah, I was really disappointed. But when Selena went into the alternate world, and she turned into a fae, and she, like, just kicked butt, in that world, I just was like, oh my god, she's Faye. I was so shocked. I was like, oh my god, I cannot believe this is happening. Like, I knew she was going to be queen, but like, that Faye, I didn't know that. And Chowl was like, oh, you're Faye. And I was like, Chowl, give her a chance. Don't even talk to me about that. So Chowl, like, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, by the way. But anyway, I was like, stop, stop. Just be nice to her. She hasn't done anything wrong since she's Faye. It's like, it's not her fault. She was born that way. I was just so shocked at that part. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe this. And then, then she explained why she couldn't, how she could transform back and forth. And that whole thing with Shaul looking her up to see 
if she was related to like like who she was related to because she couldn't know the face song she wasn't like royalty I was like oh yeah she's probably like the queen you know because I spoiled my stuff and had the evidence right in front of him and he wasn't believing it and then she had said that her great grandmother was Faye and he was looking at it and it was the arrow of Mab or whatever and she was so uncomfortable and that was why because that was her great grandmother and I was like oh my god I cannot believe that and he's sending Selena to Wendelin I don't know how I feel about that I mean, I know we'll see them and that'll be great because, you know, that's like her family basically because that's her cousins or whatever and she's sort of related to them but she has to kill them because the king said so and it was like, oh, you kidding me. So that's why I cannot wait to pick up Air of Fire because I really want to find out what happens and I cannot believe that I haven't bought it yet but I just bought Mistborn so we're going to be waiting a bit for Air of Fire. Dorian being magic, I was really sort of shocked about that because I wasn't sure how he had the magic. I mean, I understood that his father wasn't blocking his own magic, so in turn that sort of didn't block Dorian's, but I was sort of confused about that. I was like, what? Like, uh. And I just, I really liked how he had to hide that, but then I was like, tell Selena. Selena will completely understand. It'll help her with her plans and everything. And he wasn't telling her, and I was like, just tell her, oh my god, just tell her. When there was that scene, I don't know where it was in the book, but um, the princess, and the queen were talking and I'm pretty sure that it was like Nehemia and Queen Elena and they were talking about the plan that they had and like one of them had to break first and I'm pretty sure they were talking about the prince or Selena and Nehemia was like well Selena she's gonna break first basically so we have to make sure she breaks and I'm pretty sure that's why she was so sure that she was gonna kill like she was gonna get killed and that was gonna set into motion her plan that her death would break Selena so it would actually set the plan in motion when Archer said, you're not a murderer to her, <laughs> and then she turned around and killed him. I was like, are you kidding me? She's an assassin. That's her job to murder people. How is she not a murderer? Like, that doesn't make any sense, Archer. And he said that she was a good woman, and I was just like, oh, Archer, you're going to get killed. The last thing I wanted to talk about was that we finally see from the king's point of view during this book, and we see how he sort of feels about it. Just, oh, he's so corrupt and horrible. I just couldn't stand him, really, as you're supposed to. That is all I have to say, really, about Crown of Midnight. If you enjoyed this video, and tell me down in the comments what you thought of this book and what were your favorite parts. I will see you in my next video, which will be a review of the selection up on Friday, and I will see you then. Bye!